Uh, my name is Yakın Ertürk. I'm a board member of Women's Learning Partnership, and I'm also uh, coordinating the uh, family law uh, reform project with respect to the research component in 11 countries. Yes, uh, the project between International Development Research Center and Women's Learning Partnership uh, aims to have a campaign uh, to reform family laws that are discriminatory towards women. And uh, it's a fairly large uh, project with several components, advocacy being a major component. But uh, it also has uh, a research component based on 11 case studies, which I'm uh, engaged in. And on the basis of uh, the results that we get from the 11 case studies, uh, WLP will develop a global campaign. It's a Turkish uh, civil code reform uh, took place in, well, it, the new reform law was adopted in 2003. So it uh, dates back a few years where there was considerable amount of advocacy uh, on the part of the women's movement. And I think one of the uh, important aspects of the reform was that the women's groups were able to bring together different women's groups. So create sort of a coalition and consensus on common issues that all women faced, uh, felt were relevant to them. I think it's that uh, coalition uh, gave a great deal of power to the demands of women, which later on uh, was also used in the penal code reform. But one of the most important changes, I think, from my perspective, the, was that the, in the property regime of the new civil code, because that new civil code recognizes uh, the an equal partition of marital assets, no matter who uh, actually uh, earned them uh, at the time of divorce. So this uh, is a recognition of women's unpaid labor, which is so important for uh, so many uh, women who work hard in the home but don't actually bring uh, uh, paid contributions. And when they get divorced, since all the property uh, earned during marriage is generally registered under the husband's name, women end up uh, in destitute. If the political system is supportive, uh, then it becomes uh, much easier to pass uh, the reforms. For example, Morocco uh, is one country that I'm thinking of. Uh, they uh, had a reform uh, adopted in 2003. Uh, but there was political support for uh, the women's groups who were uh, particularly demanding changes on the basis of universal human rights standards. Uh, and uh, it was a fairly a success story. They were able to demystify the taboos around uh, the family code, which was very much religiously ingrained. Uh, you either have to have a very strong women's movement, women getting together like the case of Turkey and really challenging the state to push for your reforms, or in the Moroccan case, uh, have the support of the political system so that these uh, uh, standards, which may otherwise be regarded as alien and rejected, can be adopted.